Real Madrid finally get their man as Bale heads to Spain. Is Juan Mata really surplus to requirements at Chelsea? And who's in the running for a late bid for Samuel Eto'o? Joining me today are former Chelsea captain Dennis Wise and international football writer Peter Staunton. I'm Nat Coombs and this is Transfer Talk. We'll start with new business then and Pete, the transfer saga to end all transfer sagas seems to be at the end now. Looks like we've entered the end game uh, with Gareth Bale going to Real Madrid. Some of around £86 million has been agreed. Spurs have already got their replacements in and it just looks like we're missing that official confirmation and that huge celebratory signing ceremony that they love so much at the Bernabeu. What are the market journalists going to do now with their time, do you think? Well, they'll just turn their attentions elsewhere and maybe turn the attentions inward and see who's fighting with who and then next summer we'll do it all over again. Dennis, do you think it represents smart business when all's said and done for Spurs? I think it's fantastic business for Spurs. You know, £86 million, pounds. wow, world record. Uh, I think Daniel Levy is very sharp and clever. Uh, businessman and, uh, and chairman, I think he's, he's done a great job there to get that amount of money. And what he's done as well, I think, brought the players in early, uh, knowing what he's, um, what he's going to basically get for Bell. It seems to placate the fans, doesn't it? Because at the beginning, all the Tottenham fans were terrified about the idea of losing Bale. As the summer's gone on, most of them are, are fairly, not happy about it, but comfortable. I, th I think it's the way that he's dealt with it. I think he's been very, very clever. Isn't and what he's done is he's quickly brought players in and he's done his deals. And, uh, and that, that's been an important factor of it. And they've kind of then accepted the, the bow going situation, you know, because of the players and personnel that they brought in. And obviously the start they've had as well. Um, two wins, which is great. And um, they've done very well. Already brought in some great players, as Dennis said. Who else might they bring in? before the window closes, Pete? Well, like for like, the replacements for Bale, I don't think they'd be too concerned about because, you know, the likes of Nasser Chadley and uh, Roberto Soldado and Capua and Paulinho, they're going to give Spurs new ways of winning matches rather than relying on Bale all the time. But just as maybe one last flourish in the transfer window after missing out on Willian, they may still go back for Roma's Eric Lamela, who could provide the impetus on the wing that they need, who can dribble past players, go past people with pace, get balls into the box, and, and he could be a, a, an impact player, a difference maker towards the end of the window. But I think they'll be okay even without that. So you mentioned they lost out to Chelsea for Willian. Chelsea seemingly still in the frame for Rooney. Interesting comments after the Monday night football game between United and Chelsea. What do you make of all that? Probably the most interesting outcome of that match was, was the comments again about Rooney because uh, the match itself was no great shakes. Uh, at this stage, I think I would expect Rooney to stay with Manchester United, but Mourinho has put the ball back into Rooney's court and has pretty much said to him, if you, if you want to come and join Chelsea, you tell me about it. Smart poker for Mourinho, isn't it, Dennis? I think it is. You know, he's a very clever, um, clever guy. He knows how to, to get situations to go uh, on his side. And I think it's a smart move by him. You know, he's put the onus back on uh, Wayne and turned around and said to him, if you really want to come here, please go and say it. And um, obviously, we'll come and get you. And um, if he says it, I think they will go and get him. Where do you think Rooney will flourish most this season, Old Trafford or Chelsea? I think it would be. I think it's time for a move for him. Uh, I think he would suit Chelsea uh, great. I, I, I think he would be fantastic there. I really do, and I'd love to see him at Chelsea and love to see him um, playing off the front man. And goal reporting the late runners in that race at Arsenal. Uh, what do you make of that, Pete? Looks like Arsenal are going to come back in. Uh, this week for uh, a renewed effort with a bid for, for Wayne Rooney. Uh, it's ambitious, you have to say, from Arsenal's point of view. They've missed out on a lot of top targets this summer and there's nothing to indicate from that perspective that Wayne Rooney is going to treat Arsenal any differently than the likes of Suarez and Higuain did. Moving on to headliners then, Juan Mata, perpetually linked with a move away. What's the latest on that? He's not been in the Chelsea team at the start of the season. Jose Mourinho seems to like his system, he likes to utilise the system without Mata. Atletico Madrid have been linked with a loan bid. I'm sure they would love to take him on loan, as implausible as it might sound, but you know, I don't see Juan Mata going anywhere. I think he's certainly not on loan. He's, he's too good of a player for, for Chelsea to, to let go anywhere. Dennis, I think what stoked the flames a little bit is the arrival of Willian, but they're not the same type of player, are they? So. No, William plays uh, wide and um, Juan Mata plays off the front man, you know, and um, I did, Jose, uh, I think he made it quite clear that uh, he's got no intentions of selling him. He's very much part of the, the squad and the team, you know. OK, he hasn't started. I think that was basically down to him being away and also being injured. And uh, I think the, the press speculation jump on it and it's near 
getting close to the end of uh, the transfer window, but I cannot see uh, Mata leaving Chelsea. One of the clubs he's been linked to is Arsenal. Of course, at the moment, they're being linked to just about anybody. Benzema and Di Maria from Real Madrid. Two targets that certainly Wenger would love to have at the Emirates. How realistic are either of those? Benzema, I would say, not a chance. You look around the Real Madrid squad, they've already got rid of Higuain this summer, and that just leaves the like of Alvaro Morata and Jesse Rodriguez as, as backup options if Benzema was to depart. There's no way Ancelotti would leave himself that short in the striking position. Also, Benzema's agent has dismissed speculation with him linked to Arsenal. I would say that one's a non-gore for the time being. But Di Maria, type of player who would improve Arsenal, maybe could be pushed to the fringes at Real Madrid this season due to the arrival of Gareth Bale. But again, if the finances aren't right, then Arsenal won't do the deal. And I think it could prove a little bit too expensive for Arsenal, even if he were to be available. So much depends, of course, Dennis, on the bail to Real Madrid deal. When that finally happens, everything else will go in motion. What kind of game do you think Daniel Levy is playing there with that deal? Is he trying to up the price or is he trying to protect Tottenham's position compared to his rivals in the Premier League? I, I think he's, he's looking at the situation just to finish off the small details of the deal. And I think that's only what he'd be looking at, you know, what benefits Tottenham, not any other club. And uh, I think he's done his business early. I think that the bail deal will go through in, in maybe right at the last knock-ins. Uh, it'd be finished off. Uh, it's just small details and uh, knowing Daniel, he's, he's got it all sorted and uh, I'm sure it'd be a matter of time before it happens. That's critical though, isn't it, Pete, that the longer that deal takes to get done, the less and less time Arsenal have to step in and try and take players away from clubs like Real. That's right, but it's, it's where Spurs have been caught out in transfer windows in the past where they've lost players really, really late in the window and it's left managers, various managers at Spurs, no time uh, to replace. Arsenal have done some pretty, pretty frantic business in the past on, on the last day of the transfer window as well. It's been bargain shopping with Arsene Wenger and who knows what he comes up with. Andres Santos arrived one year and, you know, Arsenal don't want to be facing that situation either. So, you know, it sounds a bit... Silly to say it right now with a week to go, but the sooner they get the business done, the better. But, you know, we were saying that in May. We certainly were. OK, talked about last week about the fire sale at Anshi. Samuel Eto'o is one of those players that clearly is going to get dealt. What's the most likely destination for him? Well, for the time being, he's, he's still in the, in the Anshi team. He played at the weekend. They were defeated. Um, it looks like Chelsea could be the, the chief contenders for his signature, uh, although his salary expectations are still sky high. Uh, also, Walter Mazzari, who's the interim manager, hasn't ruled out bringing Etu back, but whether if that's just to placate the Inter fans who are without star quality at the minute, that remains to be seen. But if it's it, I think if, if Etu is to move anywhere this summer, which he's increasingly likely to do, it would be to Chelsea for a small fee. It'd be a smart signing, wouldn't it? It'd be a very smart signing. I think, obviously, if that's the situation on Wayne Rooney, I think uh, if that doesn't happen, I think Etu could be a signing for Chelsea. You know, I think he'll, he'll fit in there nicely. I think he's worked with Mourinho before and. Um, he likes him. He's 32, I know that. But to sign him for a couple of, couple of years, he's a natural goal scorer. And I think he would be a big impact player for, for Chelsea if you, they could get him. So, gents, we're now an added time where I put some of our viewers' questions to you. Dennis, we'll start with you. Uh, Tim, via Twitter, wants to know if Victor Moses is heading to Anfield. I think it'd be a good shout for Liverpool. You know, I think there could be a possibility if they, they looked at the situation and St Brendan needed a player of, um, out of Chelsea and I think uh, he would be, he hasn't started and he, I don't think, he, I believe he's been sub as well this year so that's something that could be a possibility. Competition amongst those four places is so stiff now. Yeah, I think there's seven at the present moment in three positions and normally you would have two uh, in each position. I think obviously they've got seven so I think looking at the, the personnel that play across the, the three across the, that play and Victor Moses would be the one, the odd one out, I would say. So maybe that's a possibility, a big possibility. Pete Raymond via YouTube wants to know, will Man United sign Luka Modric? Simply to Raymond, I would say I don't think they're going to sign Luka Modric. Uh, Carlo Ancelotti is still getting to know his squad at Real Madrid. They've got some um, difficult situations with, with injury uh, in that Real Madrid midfield at the minute. And, and it's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, certainly for me to envisage a situation that he's going to let Luka Modric leave in this transfer window. Do you think he'll let any of the midfielders go in this window? Well, we've seen Di Maria linked with an exit. We've seen Otzel linked with an exit. But, you know, un until the season, until that window is shut, until the season is, is, is properly underway, he's not going to know his best 11. He's not going to know his best squad. So I wouldn't expect any of those midfielders to leave Madrid before the end of the window. Thanks, guys. That's it for today, I'm afraid. If you like what you saw, don't forget to press the subscribe button and to ask our panel a question in future episodes. You can do so via YouTube, Facebook, 
or Twitter. For more on the stories featured in today's show, head on over to Goal.